lights going on in here. Oh, I just need to get like one of those uh, ring lights that are bigger than the one we've got. Oh, a person. There's a person. Person and a like. I just took my meds, so it's going to be a bit before that kicks in. Just waiting for people to come in. Sorry for the people who are watching this on repeat, but you're going to have to wait. <laughs> be patient. Stink babe. You can't see it. There's beans. There's beans right here. Hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. Damn, everybody's here. I say that every time, but there's like 220 people already. Dusty, come here and say hi. Got a Douche. Yeah, so normally we do these on uh, members only. Uh, when we don't have extra footage to do members-only videos with, uh, which for the past week and a half we've been sick, dealing with a lot of health problems, and so I don't have the additional footage. But the stuff we're going to be talking about in this is kind of involves everyone on the channel, so we figured we'd do this one for everyone rather than just the members. What's up, Dusty? Come here. Dusty. What? What's up? Now come here. Come here and say hi. You love this. Look, Dusty, up here. Look. Look at. He's pushing so hard. He hates this so much. Wait, you like it. <laughs> We're just waiting for more people to get in so we, before we start talking. Hi, Dusty. Come here. You love this. All right. We'll talk. We'll start talking in just a second. Hi, Dakota. Show everyone Dakota. Look. Wait. <laughs> Push your baby. Dakota, look. <laughs> Freaking finger sniffer. Oh my god, you stink like the outside. Hey, I've actually got relatives in St. Francis. I think that's technically where my dad lives. St. Francis is by Princeton, right? Are you her dad? <laughs> Okay, so here's what's going on for the next two weeks. We have one more room to do in that house that we're currently working on. Uh, however, Emily's surgery, we leave for that tomorrow. And it's what, less than two hours away? Like an hour and 40 minutes yeah, away? Yeah, an hour and 45. So we're driving up there tomorrow. Um, we'll be staying in a hotel then the next day, which is what, Thursday? Thursday. Thursday, she gets her surgery done. And then they will keep her overnight and we will leave on Friday if there's no complications. That means no video this week. Um, well, there will be a video. It'll just be different. But we're not going to be doing um, that house this week because there's no way we can do all that and then go back to that house and knock out a room. So... We're going to probably take some just footage of us goofing around. We're going to go shopping tomorrow and go out someplace nice to eat. Um, and then I may take some additional footage while we're at the hospital of us just waiting for surgery and dicking off and whatever. I may do a live once I'm up there. I'm not sure. But when we get back, I've got to be here for the next week as well because she's going to have like a drainage thing in her neck hole. 
that needs to be cleaned and drained and taken care of. And then she's, you know, I'll have to take care of food and all that because she's going to be basically couch ridden. Um, but I have also been purposely letting my garage go to hell for the last like year. It's been a while. The last garage cleaning video that I put up on this channel is the last time I cleaned my garage. <laughs> and so um, I told Emily over the past like several months, uh, everything that you can throw out in the garage, just throw it out there because I've got to do a whole bunch of stuff to that anyway. And it would make it always makes for some fun content to do a total garage clean out. So I am um, on the day she gets back or the day we get back, I'm going to call for a dumpster and then I'm going to clean out the whole garage. And I've got a bunch of just white trashy crap in my backyard. <laughs> it looks like a redneck playground out there. At with... least there's not a toilet out there anymore. <laughs> yeah, there was there was a toilet in our backyard at one point. Um, but I've got old fish filters that are 55 gallon drum filters. I, I've just got a bunch of construction crap out there from where we had to tear some stuff down. So I want to get that cleaned up. Um, at some point I got to pull up the carpet in our downstairs because Dakota has decided that's where she, uh, at like four o'clock in the morning goes down and poops and pees on there. And the thing is like we've, we take her out more than we normally do. We take her out every three hours, no matter what. But I usually stay up until like four o'clock in the morning, sometimes five anyway, and I'm still taking her out. She still waits until we go to bed and then she goes downstairs and relieves herself on the carpet. Now, we didn't notice it at first because normally that's where I relieve myself. <laughs> but we've noticed that um, she's been doing it. So, yeah, we got to pull up all that carpet, which had to come up anyway, because uh, I want to be putting um, vinyl planking down there. And we're using that as a guinea pig thing. So we got all kinds of stuff we'll be doing for videos. It just won't be that house. After she's healed, we're going to go back to that house and we're going to knock out the final room, which is a kid's room. And that should be fun because not only do we get to just do some very quick work, we just need to do some drywall taping and mudding, sand that down, and then prime it and paint it. We could do all that in a day. Um, but we may go to Walmart and get him some fun little toddler toys and curtains and kid stuff to, to do in that room to, you know, get him some neat stuff. Um, but all that should be done in a day. So that video will be short. The longer videos will be my stuff because in fact, I'll show you exactly why that's going to be a bigger video at my house. Let me turn this around. <laughs> Jason's big giant eye ball head. <laughs> <laughs> There's my garage. Yeah. So no, some of you noticed I've got, I had that big painting that's behind there. It's so piled up. Beans, you asshole. Jason. Beans escaped. So yeah, that's my garage. Then on the other side, there's all this. Beans is not an outside cat and he decided to, uh, make himself an outside cat. Beans get, come here. come here. Beans, look, supposed to be out here. Let's go inside. Vanessa, thank you. Beans, inside, let's go. Good beans. <laughs> that has never happened before. You yeah. I told him, you come in or I will slap you right in the yeah. beans face. And he was like, man, man, man. And I'm like, don't mare mare me. Get your beans ass inside. Kevin, thank you. Is that the Kevin Smith? I bet you never hear that at all. <laughs> beans had an adventure. It's 25, like a 20 second yeah, adventure. 25 second adventure in the garage. Oh, yeah, so that's thank you. Yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing is cleaning that garage this coming week. Um, Jay. If you have any questions tomorrow, text me. Um, we, we're we not leaving until what? The afternoon? Yeah, whenever you get up. Anyway. Okay, so you'll, it'll basically be the evening when you'll need to come over here and feed them their wet treats and all that. And if you got questions, I can just call you or you can call me and I can walk you through it. And then basically it's going to be 
Dakota, I take her out every three hours. So I usually just do multiples of three on the time. And that reminds me when she needs to go out. Okay. She can go longer than that during the day. But during night, I wouldn't wait long periods of time because that's when she's going downstairs and crapping on my carpet. Okay, I can make sure I'll come out like yeah. 6, 9, and 11-ish or something. That's yeah. usually what I do. And then if she goes outside but doesn't poop, you can just pick her and kind of shake her like a salt <laughs> shaker. And then it all just thumps out the bottom. Get it, Bean. Oh, and um, possibly your second phone for filming. Yeah, if you've got anything that you want to film while we're gone, I've got an additional tripod out on my toolbox. Oh, okay. And then my additional phone is upstairs on my computer desk. Okay. And if you go up there and you want to use that computer, feel free. If you want to mess around with like trying out different um, editing and crap like that, just say the A word and then turn on the office and it'll turn on the... And then this is the A word and then living room. It'll turn oh, on all yeah. these lights. Yeah, and we'll send you a list of oh, commands yeah. because to turn it off, it's the A word and good night. Yeah. Good night, oh, we'll turn off all okay. this. So, Gotcha. Okay. I, I need to redo all those to make them the same word. Because <laughs> if you say the A word and turn off the living room, she'll freak out and, and not know what you mean. Yeah, I'll send you that in a text. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. It'll turn off someone else's living room in, like, <laughs> Russia. And you'll have to deal with that, and you don't speak Russian. <laughs> while you're while we're gone, learn Russian. <laughs> you just say the A word, and then teach me Russian, and then you'll sit here until you know Russian. <laughs> Brandon, thank you. All right, I'll see you guys later. See you All right, guys. see you later. Thank you. Awesome. Jason came over to clean our house today while we're gone, so I'm going to have him doing. Uh, for those of you who don't know. Uh, let me back up a little bit. So I owned a cleaning business, which was successful. It was, uh, it did very well. And I only really owned that so that Jason and Adrian and Daniel could have a job because jobs are very scarce in our town. Around Christmas, we decided that YouTube makes so much that I could get rid of that business and do YouTube full time. So, <clears throat> um, I gave Daniel the business, just gave it to him. Now the business was doing well enough that if you take into account the profits plus all the materials plus the potential of the business, it would be about a quarter of a million dollar business. So I don't know if he understands how big that was giving him that, but I know that it was handing him a career and where he's the boss. So we did that and then I hired in Jason um, full time to do this stuff with me and his pay scale, my pay scale, and all of the money to do these houses comes directly from YouTube. Christine, thank you. Um, we will use that. We're going to use that for black tar heroin, no. baby. <laughs> no. Flying smack airlines, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope I get something good post-surgery, though. But, um, so yeah, Jason's with me. I hired him in as our... Uh, our personal assistant. And so when we're not doing houses and cleaning and fixing things and making videos, he's basically the guy who, if at five o'clock at night, we're like, Hey, I want a Heath blizzard from dairy queen. We call him. If we need somebody to run and get groceries or whatever, he's the guy who does it. So he's going to be coming over to help me with all that while Emily's healing. Oh man. Yeah, so someone had asked uh, if it was a parathyroid tumor. It is a parathyroid tumor, so they're going to... I have hypercalcemia, um, and that is from a genetic disorder called MEN1. Um, so that has caused me to be exhausted and in pain and, like, brain dumb. Um, so that is what they're working on. Damn, thank you, Leslie. Thanks, Leslie. Um, that's what we're working on this week. They're going to remove, there's four glands. They're going to remove one at a time until my calcium levels out. Um, so that'll be, um, yeah, that's what, they, and then uh, that should fix it like that day. Um, so, but I'll have like a, a drain coming out of my neck and stuff that I have to, 
Like, I have to clean it. I don't know. Sounds gross. Not looking forward to it. Um, but, yeah. And then that, then I, uh, in March, I have an appointment because I also have a, a tumor in my pituitary gland. So, in March, I have an appointment to start working towards getting that removed, which I have had that before. So, that part I've been through. And that is, like, that's more serious long-term uh, and like a way different recovery scale and and all that um, so that'll be the next step but yeah so I'm sleepy a lot yeah I'm making an espresso son because George Clooney invented Nespresso's um, for people who are asking this is really really important we are not stopping cleaning hoarder houses on the channel the majority of what you're going to see on the channel is what I've always done, which is cleaning up places that are just completely trashed. This particular house just happened to not be trashed. It was, I mean, the walls and the ceilings and all that were trashed, but it was not a hoarder thing. It didn't need any cleaning because the wife is really good at cleaning. So this series makes it look like we've stopped doing that because we've been there for a few weeks. And that's all we worked on. But... For the most part, the houses that we're going to be cleaning and fixing are those places where they're dealing with severe ADHD, hoarding, and we have to do a ton of cleaning before we get into fixing things. So, um, yeah, the channel's not changing. We're just adding to what we're normally doing. Yeah, I know, the yawning thing. Yeah. I do apologize for that. I am so exhausted. I set an alarm today for 11 and normally I get up around 9 or 10, unless I'm not working, then I just sleep till whenever I can. And just even at 11 o'clock, I was like, I could have slept till 3. My body is so sore. Hers is sore because of the, the hypercalcemia thing. I'm sore because we did so much damn work on that house, and I just wasn't used to it. And I'm out of shape. And every muscle in my body is just burning. Also, somebody asked in the comments, hopefully they're here. They asked what you were, um, the spelling of Bernie sisters. Oh, I'll show you. Hold on. <laughs> Nespresso, bitch! Wearing a Bernie sisters shirt. It's actually custom. Uh, they put a logo on the back, too. And as you can see, I dyed my hair yesterday. Um... <laughs> <laughs> she but, dyed it with a whip. <laughs> also, whoever's mom, uh, hi to Millie or Miley's mom. I I missed the name on it, but hi to your mom. It's it was. It was a way up. Yeah. Hi, Miley's said, mom or Millie's mom. She said it twice or asked us twice. Yeah, the car cleaning video. I'm going to be doing another one of those because my car needs detailed bad. <laughs> Josh, thank you. How have you been, buddy? Yeah, um, so Mac will probably post a community update uh, after surgery, I assume. I'm fine with that. We, there won't be no post-anesthesia videos because I have a really... I don't have a bad reaction to anesthesia, but I am very emotional and that's not for public. Um, but yeah, like, oh, Miley, there you are. Um, yeah, so that, uh, I'm not funny. Um, I cry a lot and immediately, uh, so. It's almost like a panic attack yeah. when she comes out of anesthesia, so there, there won't be any of that. But we will do some updates, like, like I'm going to be in a hotel while she's staying overnight in the hospital. And, um. So I'm I'm gonna be alone in a hotel room with a camera, <laughs> <laughs> and so I get and I get bored fast. Time to start your OnlyFans. Yeah. Now the only thing is, whenever I'm alone in a hotel room, I wear just boxers. So I'll be doing lives with, and I don't wear them on my waist. <laughs> they, I give I do what they call boxer hat. I call it my boxer <laughs> gear. <laughs> um, it's actually it's my parathyroid. There's glands on your thyroid called your parathyroid um so i'm not i'm not it's nothing to do with my actual thyroid my thyroid levels are fine surgery is thursday yeah and the, so the way they do that surgery is kind of messed up 
they basically cut off a piece of your parathyroid and then they have to monitor your calcium levels and they just keep doing that until your calcium levels get good. Yeah. And then they stop. <laughs> so they take out one uh, and then it's fine or they will have to like keep doing that. Um, I hope my surgeon's good. <laughs> just now we looked into it and we demanded a bad one. <laughs> that way in case anything goes wrong, <clears throat> it's free money, baby. That's my, how we're going to support doing houses. My endocrinologist has been amazing, <clears throat> though. So, um, yeah, that's that's been really nice. She definitely has gone above and beyond. Uh, she called me after hours um, to make sure I'm doing okay. The first time I had my calcium tested, it was 13.6. And at 14, you're at risk for coma, heart failure, uh, basically death. And um, she told me to go to the emergency room. And then she asked which hospital I was going to, and she called the hospital ahead of time to, like, uh, get them, a, like, aware <clears> that <throat> I was coming in, and then called me um, to make sure that I made it there and everything. So um, that was just, like, kind of the, the first cool thing that she did, but she's very smart, and I love her, and I'm very happy. Now, if it was a dental... Thing that she was coming out of that would be different because she's hilarious when she comes out of a dental <laughs> anesthesia because she was trying to say that everything was blurry and she couldn't figure out like the last time she was under it she was trying to say things are blurry and i'm seeing double yeah, but she didn't know the vision. phrasing so she's like e everything is two <laughs> everything is two <laughs> and when i was coming out of mine at one point I always joke and I'm, I'm aware of what I'm doing. I just feel super drunk whenever I'm coming out of that. And so I was, uh, they, they had all my stuff put into like a Ziploc bag so that I can get it easily afterwards. And I, I kept insisting that I had $2.4 million that I had put in that Ziploc bag and I wanted it back. And so I was aware that I was doing that, but I was trying to make jokes while under anesthesia. But yeah, there was two point four million dollars in that bag. I need you to make sure that's all that's all still in there. <laughs> oh crap. I meant to get socks today and I didn't get it. I thought you were gonna say you meant to get long johns and now I want long johns. Yeah, I kinda want long johns too, but I meant to repl I replace all my socks like once every three months. They're, they're still good socks. I mean, I could give them to, if we had homeless people here, I'd give them to homeless people. But I like the feel of new socks. And then as we started getting out of poverty many years ago, I'm like, actually, socks don't cost that much. Why don't I just get new socks every three months rather than waiting for these to get holes in them? Um, the recovery time for that, because your calcium levels level out like during surgery, most people feel better that day or the next day. Um, I've got an old friend who had the same thing, um, and she's just kind of in poor health generally. So it took her a couple weeks. Um, so at the outside, a couple weeks, but most people start getting their energy and everything back like as soon as the surgery's done. Um, so I am very much looking forward to that. Yeah, Cindy, we both Emily and I used to be the same way. Emily still kind of is that way. So we are going to Nashville probably toward the end of April. Emily's going to a concert and then I am going to hang out with my best friend and then um, go shopping. They have a Nordstrom's down there and we don't have anything like that here. And they've got a Macy's that's pretty decent. We've got a Macy's in the town we're getting ready to go to, but it's like a, it's like all the stuff that fell out of the other Macy's. <laughs> <laughs> It looked like they were getting ready to either close or were opening the Macy's. Like there was, there'd be like a rack and then like 20 feet later, there's another rack. It was, it was really disappointing. So yeah, when we go down to uh, Nashville at the end of April, I'm making her replace like half her wardrobe. She's got shirts that have got holes in them and <laughs> like you can, you know, have to wash them so, so long they start to get this fuzzy look to them. Not with fuzz coming off at like the prints and stuff fade um she's got a bunch of stuff that's like that will i be clean in the hotel room when i get bored probably not because i typically pile all my stuff into one section and then just pick it up all at once whenever i leave but what's up christine beans come here and say yeah a lot of my the most of those are like my pajama shirts um 
Like one, I know, I think he's talking about a certain one I got from uh, Coney Island in New York. So I can't replace that till I go to, back to Coney Island. But Beans, look at that camera. Wait, no, you like it. Look. I do. Look. Yeah, Mary, uh, the overall condition is genetic. It's called MEN1. Um, and then I just have uh, some garbage stuff that happens to go along with that. So, good morning in Australia, Sue B. What's up, Sue? Yeah, he's lazy. He also has a smoker's meow. Yeah, Christine, M E N 1. What's up, buddy? Stands for multiple endocrinologist something something or endocrinology something. Beans. Say hi to people. Look up here. Look, look at that. <laughs> Say hi over here. Be a talking cat. He likes under his chin scratched. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Beans is a main coon. And then get off my camera, camera hog. <laughs> He's purring super loud. Could you guys hear that? <laughs> Yeah, he purrs super, super <laughs> loud. He sounds like an engine. There is a certain one he gets when he's really, really happy. Um, that sounds like, no kidding, it sounds like the the TARDIS. Took me a minute to come up with it. Yeah, it sounds like the TARDIS or like the old school Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. He's headbutting my stomach. Dakota is off to the side. Yeah, she's over here. What are you doing? Smell my finger. Freaking finger smeller. Did you talk you... About, about what happened in my car at all? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> so a tree, giant tree branch broke off and fell onto Emily's brand new car that we just bought her. She, it hadn't. We haven't even had it long enough to make a payment. She's had it for like two weeks. It was. It was not. It's not a 2020. It's 2021, but it was still. Um, I don't know if that will. Tilt it down a little bit and see. That's the windshield. And it smashed it. Yeah, dented it all over the side and the top. Completely blew out the windshield. And fortunately. My Camaro was in the garage. <laughs> yeah. Ow. I know I see you. You headbutt cat. Yeah, it's been raining here for like a week and a half. Uh, so everything's been wet. And then, yeah, there was a big wind gust. Um, so I haven't heard like how much it's going to be or anything like that. As far as I know, they're getting the windshield put in soon, but I'm kind of waiting for a call back from them. Um, it was a 2021 Escape uh, Titanium. Premium, titanium, yeah, something. It was like a higher end. Escape. Yeah, so it's like the luxury version of an Escape. An Escape is a decent like mom van or a crossover, but the Escape Titanium is done almost like a BMW where... It's one of those where the lights will sense the, the headlights in front of you that are coming at you and automatically dim things down, then automatically bring it back up whenever the car's passed. It'll sense how much rain is hitting the windshield and adjust the windshield wiper speed so you don't have to keep adjusting it over and over. It's got heated and cooled seats. The steering wheel is heated. It's got all kinds of like crazy automatic stuff that it does. Um, but yeah, she had it two weeks and then yeah. that fell on it and it's, it's a significant amount of damage. I mean, it's the windshield is entirely blown out. 
and then um, the hood's dented, the top's dented, there's a dent on the side. Um, Sherry, that's one we were just talking about, the Escape Titanium, Emily's brand new car. I was like, I just want something with a sunroof in it. And then he was like, oh, I think you should go try, try this one out. And it was perfect. So I was really happy. But yeah, I am, uh, <laughs> I was pissed. No one was in it. We were out, um, or I, I mean, it, it happened overnight. We've got full coverage on it since we still got a loan on it. But, um, yeah, like it happened overnight. So we were in it. I was actually getting ready to go to a therapy appointment. And then I had to call them and be like, uh, just kidding. So. Yeah, so it's getting taken care of. It's getting fixed. Insurance covered it. We got full coverage insurance. We actually have like these, I don't know if it's laws or if it's just a bank policy, but um, down here, whenever you take a loan out on a car, you have to have full coverage insurance on it. Ours, we typically keep full coverage on it, even after the car is paid off, just because it's not actually that much more for insurance to do that. I mean, it probably would be on my car, <laughs> but um, if we can afford it, we might as well do it. God, my body is so exhausted. No, they're fixing it. Um, there's a an auto glass place in town. That's where it is now. And then once they fix the windshield, they'll get it back. And then there's a collision place that will fix the panels. Um, it's got a dent above the windshield but before the roof and then it's got a dent and some Sweet paint thing. chipped off um elsewhere yeah the, uh, the full coverage for finance stuff is i think it's a law here too and then once you've got it paid off you can just go down to liability but Thanks, we Marty. typically don't also i saw you in here amy hello yeah, we should. We don't have to get up early tomorrow, so I'm just going to stay up and watch crappy YouTube videos. And uh, I say crappy. I like them. It's just I watch stuff that is boring to most people. And so I watch YouTube in the bedroom, and then Emily watches shows I don't care for in here <laughs> and, and plays playing, The Sims. Yeah, I've been playing Sims 3 for like two weeks. No, an Jason's going to come watch the animals, um, check in on them a couple times a day. Cole, uh, Let's Game It Out is one of our favorite channels. By the way, if you guys, um, I don't even know if Josh even looks at comments, but that's another guy I'd like to meet. So if, if you're ever on his channel and you could let him know that Midwest Magic Cleaning is a huge fan, that would be awesome. I was just telling Mac that Northern Exposure is on Prime now. Like, I, I can't remember. I was really young, but I remember really enjoying that show. Um, what are you doing? So I'm kind of excited to see if I still like it as an adult. Josh from uh, Let's Game It Out. It's a YouTube channel called Let's Game It Out. It's super funny. It is so funny. He plays video games, but he basically destroys the video game and plays it as badly as possible and tries to basically uh, wreck the game. And his, uh, his narration is really, really good. He's so good that it takes him a full month to come up with one, to, to fully produce one video. So he only gets one video per month. But the stuff that he puts out is super high quality. I'll go back and watch some of his videos that I've seen a million times. My favorite series that he's done is the Johnny Hardbody, or Johnny Hotbody series. No, I never heard from Post 10, but he doesn't contact people. He's a really private guy. Like, we know what his first name is, but out of respect... Uh, um, we we don't say it because it creeps him out for people to say his first name. So he's super, super private. And I'll probably never hear anything out of him. I think the only way we would find Post 10 is if we literally just went up and found the culverts that... Which would be even more creepy. Yeah, he says that people have done that before. That people have left him notes in places that he goes. Which is... I, I would be weirded out if somebody did that to me, honestly. And... Uh, he also has been recognized in Walmart before, and, uh, like, I have feelings about that. Um, I used to work for Macaulay Culkin for a little bit, and I met him in person at a, um, it was called StarCast, it was a wrestling convention, and I was working for him at the time, so we were walking around with security, and it was 
obscene the amount of people who just think that you owe them something because you're a fan and it soured me so hard on meeting famous people like i there's so many people i've seen out in the world that i would like to see like and just say hey i'm a big fan um but just seeing how they monopolized him and how they took advantage of that like it was really gross i'd have a i'd have a hard time doing that in person uh what uh filth is not really doing anything on his channel see this is one of the things that i'd like people to understand because it's it's hard to understand people want to get a youtube channel going so that they can make money that's fun right it's like that you do what you like and people pay you money to do it but the amount of work that goes into it is staggering um i am in my office from the time i wake up until the time i go to sleep typically just monitoring comments and banning douchebags and <clears throat> then I'm monitoring all my social media. The actual cleanup and fixing is a full work day on its own. And then the last video that I edited, I got home at like seven at night, um, put off the editing until the next day. And it took me from like noon until 5 a.m. to get a video edited, narrated, um, processed and uploaded to YouTube. And then when you're doing that every week, you're putting in, if you work like I do, you're putting in about a hundred hours a week. And most people don't have the stamina to continue doing that because it turns into a job very quickly. And so you can't just do what you're doing, turn on a camera and then just upload that. The editing that involves where you're taking, you're cutting the camera whenever you go on break or you say some really dark joke that definitely isn't appropriate for YouTube, you got to cut it out. Um, you get owners that walk into the shot. You got to cut those out. Um, you've got just boring parts where you're doing something tedious, um, like painting around something. It takes five minutes to go around this object because it's so tedious and you've got to speed that up or cut it out entirely. So most people will start a YouTube channel, but then once the workload builds up, they stop doing it. And it's why I don't have much competition on a cleaning channel because it's hard enough just to clean and fix stuff, it becomes 10 times harder whenever you're filming it, editing, uploading, maintaining a schedule, maintaining all the social that goes on with it. And so most people will do it for maybe a couple months and then burn out and leave. So the, the competition is not that difficult or not that much because most people can't handle doing this stuff. And I think Jason is realizing how much work goes into that but it's also a thing that I'm teaching him how to do right now. I'm teaching him how to edit because eventually part of his job is going to be, hey, convert these videos to TikToks and upload them. So once he knows how to do that and he gets used to the schedule and realizes that whether he's doing that for himself or for me, it's going to be a part of his job, then I think he'll be a lot more um, into doing streams and stuff for himself. Cynthia, thank you. Uh, Drew and Adrian are doing really well. Thank you. Um, Bonnie and Barbie also have the added, like all of Max kids are grown. Um, so we see Jason a lot because he's involved with the business. We see Adri more, uh, a couple, like once a week or so. Um, Drew, Drew just does their own thing. Basically we see them uh, a couple times a month, maybe. But Bonnie and Barb, like Barbie has young kids, doesn't she? Yeah. 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 And Bonnie has, um, I think, teenagers. So, yeah, on top of all that, they, they're still having, you know, to parent. Um, Mac just has me, which he is still probably a parenting a little bit occasionally. But, um, like, I know when he's working, you know. Uh, Jordan, I haven't seen hoarders in a long time. I'm probably going to do a marathon of those whenever I get in the hotel room because I haven't seen any of the new seasons. Basically, what we did was we put on their YouTube channel and just watched them all. Yeah. What uh, is it on a streaming platform now? You said there's new ones. Is it streaming or is it like on actual TV? <laughs> poopy. <laughs> <laughs> she said poopy. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> I'm using that money for butts. 
Twenty dollars worth of butts. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I really appreciate all the kind comments and stuff. It's been difficult. Uh, one of my friends told me today that she can't wait to see. <laughs> Thank you, Stacy. Thank you for the moose money. Uh, she's really excited to see the me that I am when I'm not ill. So, and I'm also very excited for that. <laughs> but. I still have people asking me if my real name is Tito Butt Doctor. <laughs> dozens be. and dozens. And I've, I've still got dozens of people per week that ask me what moose face is. Because I had that stupid joke about eating canned moose face and people thought it was real. <laughs> it would, uh, I Patrick, we, thank you. We would have to explain Butt Doctor a lot less than we would have to explain our actual last name. Yeah. <laughs> An overt vape. <laughs> Let me put my Nespresso. Oh, I got a beans on my. Yeah. That reminds me of that one meme I, I still think is funny where the girlfriend goes out and then texts the guy, um, Hey, I locked my car keys in the house. Can you unlock the door? The boyfriend was still in there. And he sent her back a picture of a cat on his arm and said, Wish I could. <laughs> I've been hungry for pizza burgers lately, but I don't want to make pizza burgers. Um, so the next two weeks, um, basically next week, there's going to be content, but it's not going to be that house. Um, I'm going to be recovering from surgery. Cody, got to move. Move. Um, so he's going to do the garage, and then they'll go back to that house probably the week after that. Beans, come here. Say hi. And there will be a video this weekend or won't be a video? Uh, there may be a video this weekend. I may end up having to do like a live or something with us being in the hospital and all that. Coda, you can come up. Come here. Frank, come here. Frankie! What are you Frank? doing? You can come up. Frankie. Beans is like uh, 13 pounds. Uh, Frank here is 17.4 and they yelled at me about it. <laughs> so yeah. When this is the, the last animal. We've got three cats and a dog. This is Frank. He's like a football-shaped cat. I know. And he is super <laughs> orange. Frank. Oh, my God, Dakota, you stink. Go lay down, please. Go stink over there. <laughs> stink here. Come here. Stink over. Dakota, stink. Beans. Good dog. Good girl. Stink. <laughs> There you go. I taught her a new trick. Pizza burger is a hamburger, and then you put mozzarella cheese and pizza sauce on it instead of like ketchup and regular cheese. What are you doing? All orange cats are good orange cats. Thanks, Ellie Fayette. This is not Frank. This is Rufus, by the way. They look the same, but they're not. Let me just order Joe's tonight. Uh, Frank is not fluffy. He's fat. Yeah, he's... <laughs> he's big. He looks like he like took a football like a pill. Yeah. And he's just there. He is... Uh, so he'll eat on his own, but then if Beans or Dusty eats, like he'll go over and join them. So they're on they're all getting fed twice a day now and not just here's your cat food. Uh Mary, is that Mary? Yeah. Um I don't do voiceovers. I lots of people ask me if I would do them, but it's a matter of time. Like I, I don't have time to sit down and do those. Hi Layla or Ly Lila. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Al Aline, Eleni. From Greece, that's cool. And Sandra, thank you. Hold on, Joshua. Oh, Josh, eight months. Uh, they said they're domestic medium hairs, is what they said when we had adopted them. Frank and Dusty are brothers, and I think they're about three. Beans, um. 
Beans is feral before, and so we're not quite sure how old Beans is. But. Yeah, they're medium hairs and maximum fat. <laughs> Oh man, my body is so sore. Thank you. Is that Candy? Condi? Condi is the uh, British pronunciation of candy. Oh man. Oh, reaction videos. I would do reaction videos with you, but I don't know if that's any content you want to do. This is the full tattoo, the cat tattoo. Rufus, uh, I had him since I was 15, and he passed in 2020. Um, and he was my best friend, and I loved him forever. Uh, so I got a big giant and, tattoo. Yeah. And I drew him up there. It's a charcoal drawing I did of Rufus. Charlie, thank you. I play a game occasionally called I Love Hue 2. It is like a it's a color game. You have to put the colors in the right order. Hey, have any of you uh do any of you own a MetaQuest 3? Because I'm thinking of getting one. In fact, I'm not thinking of getting one. I'm going to get one, but... <laughs> oh, sorry. 187 hangers. Holy crap. Damn. That's a lot of hangers. Yeah, he won't go to a massage person. I've been trying. I have a really good massage therapist who I love. Though we do, we do have... Yeah, we've got that. the chair. Which is basically where Frank hangs out all the time. The <laughs> $3,000 massage chair that is basically a cat bed now. Thank you, Lisa. Now, I, I don't... So I've had the bad back since I was like 12. Uh, maybe even longer than that. I'll be 50 in March. And so it's been, what, 38 years. And I've tried just about everything you could imagine. It's just a bad back. Like there's, there's nothing that helps it except for rest. The only, like if I just sit down and relax and stretch out, it's fine. I don't really go, I don't do chiropractors. I don't trust most chiropractors. Most of them are not actual doctors. It's like the astrology of doctors. And so I don't want anybody jerking on my spine or cranking my neck and as if I've got damage in there to begin with, I don't trust that they can handle that without exacerbating the damage. So I don't, I don't do chiropractors. Oh, wow. I've been watching since the full voiceovers. That's, that's since right at the beginning. Lady, thank you. Man, I don't know what I want to eat, but I want a lot of it. I know. I got that eye around, but I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I think I might just order pizza. Thanks, so, Chan. Sorry, I'm just reading comments. I know for people watching this on repeat, it's just going to be a lot of me staring <laughs> at comments. But um. I have about two, I have two types of pizza that I like, either sausage, mushroom, and extra cheese, or just a Supreme without anything hot on it. So no like pepperoncinis or anything like that. No jalapenos, just a Supreme pizza. If we had a Taco Bell local, I would fuck up some tacos today. We live in one of those towns that like it used to have a Taco Bell, but they didn't sell enough tacos, so they had to just <laughs> close it down. We're uh, the type of Midwest town a lot of people will be familiar with, where we've got a Casey's, a Dairy Queen, and a Hardee's in a subway. So we've got a local pizza place here in town. It's a chain. It's like a local family-owned chain, so there's some kind of all over. Um, but we don't, 
like Casey's Pizza is the only thing that's like nationally known. Yeah, the, the I've grown up in a lot of those towns that have just the two stoplight sort of thing. Silvery, thank you. We did, however, just open up our second Dollar General. Yeah, in one town. <laughs> in one town. The town's like a mile wide, <laughs> and it's we've got two Dollar Generals now. Yeah, I think here in a bit I'm going to stretch out. Put on some video games, try to make myself tired, sleep in for a while tomorrow, then we're going to head up um, to the hotel. Like I said, we're going to do a little bit of shopping and eat out someplace nice, and then surgery time, then we'll come back here, and then right when we get back here, I'm going to order that dumpster so that I can have some sort of video at some point, but I don't know if there will be a video this weekend or not. It's If there's not, don't be surprised. We've got a lot going on. Yeah. Um, Walmart generally for groceries, uh, and then we've got a local, it's a, it's called an IGA, um, which they didn't, like, I had never heard of an IGA until I moved down here. I would give anything for a Kroger, uh, that would be awesome. Even the bigger towns around us where there are not big enough to have a Kroger. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here so that I can order a pizza because I'm hungry. Also, I can eat an entire large pizza in one sitting by myself. So uh, I want to do that and then regret it later. <laughs> Thank you for all the kind words and wishes, everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah, we will. We might record some before I go into surgery while I'm under that type of anesthesia, uh, but not after, not immediately afterwards. So, um, yeah. And then I'll have Mac let you guys know on the uh, community page how everything went so thanks all right thanks guys we'll see you later